What's up guys? Uh, just getting back from Australia. Um, I took a little bit of time off, a couple days before I got back into my pal work. Let my shoulders and body rest for a little bit. Um, one of the things that I discovered at Australia was basically I definitely had a lot of headshots. <laughs> um, I don't have very, I have one, one little bruise on my leg and um, everything else was up here. Every shot that I took was in the face or on this, like a flat snap or an offside. Um, the other thing that was pointed out to me just by a picture was on my wraps, I'm fully extending um, my elbow and so it's coming in short. Um, so that's the, the cool thing about taking a video and watching your videos is kind of seeing where you're messing up. Um, a lot of other things that I noticed in my uh, Vanguard videos is I brought my shield up way high as well. Um, you need I need to work on those kinds of things, keeping that shield locked down, even though it's in the heat of the moment, the passion is flowing, the adrenaline is going. Um, Got to make sure I keep that shield down. Um, otherwise, you're going to, if I... Uh, if you fight any higher caliber of people, you're going to lose those legs. So um, those are the things I'm going to be working on tonight. Um, and just kind of getting back into the flow of things, you know. Um, taking my time with it. Uh, trying out the new helmet. Um, get a little bit more personal. It was a really big event for me. Uh, probably the biggest event uh, Australia that I've been to in a long, long time. Um, I ended up winning the Unbelted Vanguard Tournament. I got uh, a pretty prestigious award from the kingdom, um, but uh, I don't like I don't want to brag or anything like that or come across bragging. But it was a pretty good time. Um, all the hard work that I've been doing, all the videos, everything is starting to pay off because it seems like a lot of people are paying attention. Um, people are starting to see everything that we're doing in these videos, everything I'm working on, and you know, moving forward, it's kind of cool. But uh, Now's not the time to let that ego come out. Um, it's time to get back to our head, back to the grindstone, focus on what we're doing, uh, focus on what I'm working on, um, getting that wrap in there, All right? Slight bend of the elbow, um, and make sure it's not fully locked out. Uh, stuff like that, just little things that, you, that we can do or I can do to become a better fighter and help you guys in the long run. So uh, with that said, I'm going to put my new helmet on and probably my arms and we'll do some bell work for a minute. Uh, I'll show you guys some stuff that I'm working on. Thanks. And we are back. Hope you guys can hear me through the helmet. I can actually see the ground now. <laughs> As previously, I couldn't even see... Uh, probably from there down, I couldn't actually never watch anybody's footwork um, on the Pell or I mean in combat. So I had to basically base everything off of shoulder movement. So this could be a game changer for me as well. Um, plus the badass helmet. So um, anyway, so like I was saying before, 95% uh, of my deaths came from not actively working or doing um, the house block. I did a lot of tent, but I never really. I can't remember exactly using uh, house specifically, probably because it felt a little bit awkward still. And in that tournament setting, I wanted to be fast and aggressive. And I'm still working on the house block. So today what we're going to work on is going from house to like maybe an offside to tent to the wrap to try to really keep that elbow uh, from locking out. And that's pretty much all we're going to do today. Um, just to kind of get back to the groove of thing, nice and slow. Um, so again, it's going to go house, offside, into tent, into the wrap, all right? Um, the reason being I want to focus on that wrap is because, like I said, it's pointed out to me that I need to not fully extend that arm, especially um, the picture that was shown to me is it shows me coming out here like this, all right? I was up here and I was all the way extended and my stick was already coming this way, which leads me to know that A, um, my arm is fully extended, so I'm gonna, as I come around, I'm gonna lose that power, okay? And B, it's going to be very easily blocked from way out here. Um, 
bringing it around, it's very easy to see what's coming as you come around, right? So, oh, there's a wrap, easy to block, super, super, super long um, line of fire, if you will, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, pretty much the road that your shot takes all the way around is pretty easy to follow and watch. Um, so, without further ado, like I said, we're going to go from house, offside, into tent, and right there, okay? House, offside, into the rat. And as you can see, it's going to be something that's going to be very hard to correct, and so on. Okay. House, boom. House, house, I think you've got it, house, house, uh, and again, nice and slow, um, obviously I'm trying, <laughs> as you guys know, if you've been watching these videos at all from the beginning, uh, me going slow at the pedal is actually really hard to do, so um, something we all need to work on and strive for. So again, house, offside, block the flat snap, bring it in to the rat. House, flat snap, bring it into the rat. complete with an offside or something as you're disengaging. Um, so a little bit I was given by the king of the mid is whenever I disengage, keep my shield up or guard. Um, always be feeding them something if you're disengaging to keep them occupied from killing you. So, all right. So from range, right? For coming in, block. Again, need to take that step further into the wrap. There we go. Feeling a little better. It's not fully locked out. It's uh, a little, a little less locked than I would, than uh, it is in the picture. However, I think that uh, it could be a little bit more bent, maybe. Um, you just gotta be careful of that uh, for a couple reasons. You could blow out your bicep. Um, that much pressure on your elbow, plus firing, hyperextend it and pull that uh, muscle tendon right out. So be kind of conscious of that. All right. Another thing on the wrap that I forgot to do a lot until just now, this is why we do pell work, right? So remember, create that muscle memory is that snap. Aiming for the heart versus down makes it a little bit harder to block. Plus that elbow is a little bit more bent anyway. So that is one of the key things that I need to focus on also during my wraps. Right. Cut off some more length on my arm. 
digging into my wrist pretty bad. So. The joys of new armor. All right, okay. Elbows bent, perfect. Yeah, the rack could be more here, which means I need to take a little bit deeper step, slow it down just a touch. Flow. That tent to, to flat snap on the way back out. Disengaging, right? Nothing too crazy tonight. Uh, nothing, no fancy tips. Just some good old-fashioned hard work. Uh, probably gonna actually cut it short. I just wanted to post something really quick. Let you guys know that I'm still doing this. Um, but I was at an event all week, and it was a fantastic event. Uh, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, as always, I hope that you guys get something out of this. Um, I'm probably going to keep going for a little bit longer, but I'm going to cut the video here just to keep it nice and short. So if you guys have questions, concerns, or anything like that, or see something that I could do better, please feel free to put it in the comments, message me on Facebook, or, you know, whatever. I'm always open to critique and constructive criticism. So that's all I got for today. Thanks, guys.